Welcome to Electron Online. This example is an example for the isovolumetric process. And regardless of what the problem asks, you should be able to draw a diagram going from A to B, could be up or down. If it's up, of course, then you have to add heat. If it goes down, you take heat away. Notice in either case, work done always will be zero, and therefore delta U equals Q, because when we plug in zero for work done, these two are equal to one another. And since delta U is always equal to N C of V delta T, that means Q must also be N C of V delta T. And again, we're trying to find work done, Q, and delta U. Q is heat added to the gas, delta U is the change in internal energy. Now notice for work done, that's easy. We know it's zero because it's an isovolumetric process. So we can write that work equals zero, and that takes care of that. Now delta U. Notice to find delta U, we need to find the change in the temperature, which means we need to find the temperature at A, and we need, the temperature, we need to find the temperature at B. Now notice we're given the pressure at A, the pressure is 0.2 atmospheres at A, and the pressure at B is 0.4 atmospheres. So it's exactly double. So let's find the temperature at A, and we're going to use the ideal gas equation, which means the temperature at A is going to equal, uh, let's see here, that's going to be pressure at A, volume at A, divided by the number of moles times the gas constant. All right, plug in what these are. Pressure at A is 0.2 atmospheres. And of course, we need to convert that to pascals, which is 101,325 pascals per atmosphere. And we multiply times the volume in cubic meters, which is 0.05 meters cubed. We divide the whole thing by the number of moles, which is 1, and the gas constant 8.315. Of course, the units of the gas constant are joules per mole times Kelvin. All right. Let's see what we get. 0 0.2 times 101.325 times 0.05 divided by 8.315, and we get 122 Kelvin. So temperature at A equals 122 Kelvin. All right, now what about temperature at B? Notice the only thing that would change is that the pressure would go from 0.2 to 0.4 atmospheres. Everything else would stay the same. Therefore, if the pressure doubles, temperature doubles, so we get 244 Kelvin. Right, because that's equal to two times the temperature at A. All right. Now that we have the temperature at A and at B, we can then calculate the change in temperature. So therefore, delta U, which is equal to N C sub V delta T, which is equal to the number of moles. C sub V, we're given that it's a diatomic gas. Diatomic gas C sub V is 5 over 2 R. 5 over 2. The gas constant, 8.315. And the change in the temperature is the difference between the two, which is 122. And that will give us delta U. Times 8.315 times 2.5 equals, and we get 2,533 joules. 2,533 joules. So that is the change in the internal energy. It's positive, means the internal energy went up. And therefore, Q is also going to be uh, 2,533 joules because they must be equal to one another. That's what we know from an isovolumetric process. So the result is that we had a gas at the initial conditions of A, initial pressure, initial volume. We added heat. How much heat did we add? 2,533 joules of heat. Since the gas didn't do any work, all that heat went into the increase in internal energy, which is also 2,533 joules. And that is how it's done when you have an isovolumetric process.